Good morning students. Today we shall study about single circulation and double circulation. Students, we shall first take up double circulation and then come back to single circulation because double circulation takes place in human beings and we have already studied about human circulatory system, blood circulatory system in detail. So, let us understand this first and then we go back. Got it? So, what is double circulation? In this type of circulation, blood flows through the heart twice for the completion of one circulation. See this picture students, in this, this is the heart and this is the lungs region and these are the body parts region. So, systemic means body parts. So, these are the body parts, heart, lungs and body parts. So, blood circulates among them, right? Yes. Now, if you start from here, that is from body parts, blood is collected and uh, reaches right atrium. So, from right atrium, again right ventricle then goes to lungs and from lungs it is coming back to heart uh, through pulmonary veins to left atrium and from left atrium left ventricle from left ventricle it is coming back to body parts so to reach body parts starting from here to reach body parts again how many times the blood is flowing through heart once it is entering through right atrium going to uh, lungs then coming back at left atrium, then coming to left ventricle and coming back to body parts. So, twice it is entering the heart to complete one circulation. Did you understand student? So, this type of circulation is called as double circulation. In this, we find two circulations again. They are pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. So, pulmonary circulation is the circulation which happens between heart and the lungs. See this circuit or see this loop. This indicate pulmonary circulation or circuit. So, this starts with right ventricle. From right ventricle, blood enters into pulmonary artery. Then lungs, pulmonary veins and then left auricle, right? So, this loop, this circulation is called as pulmonary circulation. This is between heart and lungs. Now, systemic circulation. This is between heart and the blood body parts. See here, this loop is called as systemic circulation. It starts with left ventricle. So, from left ventricle, it is starting. Then it is entering into iota. From iota, body parts. Again from body parts, it is reaching right auricle. So, this circulation is what is called as systemic circulation. As it has two circulations, it is called as double circulation. Got it students? And where do you find this circulation happening? It is seen in birds, mammals, where there is completely divided four chambers. We all have four chambers, right? Birds, mammals. Yes. So, in organisms which have four chamber, the heart, we find double circulation. Got it students? I hope you understood. So now come back to single circulation. So what is this here? The blood flows through heart only once for the completion of one circulation. Got it students? So here, this is the heart. Uh, this, this is seen in fishes which have their heart with two chambers. So, in organisms which have two chambered heart, this circulation is seen. See, this is the heart of the fish, uh, two chambers, right? So, this is the ventricle, this is the ventricle and this is the atrium. So, what happens? Uh, these are the, uh, they don't contain lung, right? They have gills. So, these are the gills and these are the body parts, systemic capillary region means body parts. So, from body parts the blood comes into atrium and then from atrium it enters into ventricle and from ventricle it goes to gills for oxygenation and from gills the blood directly reaches body parts. There is no entry of blood again into the heart. So, if you start from body parts the blood is flowing through heart only once. See, start from here, entering atrium, then ventricle, then going to gills, again coming back to body parts. So, only once it is entering the heart. 
So this type of circulation is called as single circulation. Got it students? So this takes place in fishes. Right? Now what are the differences? So here single in single circulation the blood flows through heart only once in completing one circulation. Here twice. Here we find uh, two circulations pulmonary and systemic. Here there is no pulmonary circulation because lungs are absent. So there is no pulmonary circulation. Okay. Next heart consists of two chambers. But here heart consists of four chambers. Right. And which of these is the efficient one? Definitely it is double circulation because in this there is clear cut separation between oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. So left side of the heart deals with oxygenated blood, right side deals with deoxygenated blood. So there is no mixing of uh, these bloods. So always the body parts are ensured to get what? Oxygenated blood. So definitely body parts ki oxygenated blood day ustundi because there is no mixing here. Clear cut difference here. Right. Now there is one more advantage. So always the blood flows to body parts with greater pressure and faster because of greater pressure blood moves to the body parts faster. Got it? In fissures when ventricle contracts the blood with greater pressure enters into gills and inside gills uh, the exchange of materials takes place during that time the pressure goes down and after that gill region uh, the pressure is still lower with this lower pressure slowly the blood reaches the body parts so it is slow slow circulation so now here if you take the blood of course it is going to lungs of course the pressure may go down again but again it is coming back to heart so again the heart generates pressure with the new pressure it contracts and uh, pumps the blood into the iota to the body parts. So uh, with greater pressure the body, uh, body parts receive blood and the blood flow is faster. Got it students? So finally we can say double circulation is the efficient one. Got it students? I hope you understood. Thank you.